so you came you came to power to sparking a democracy that triggered the people power revolt in the Philippines triggered all these other democracy movements around the world but yet now 30 some odd years later it looks like democracy hasn't delivered its promise and we're seeing a swing back are we seeing a cycle of history I'm glad you asked that because you must understand where I came from. I am a full-blooded second cousin of President Marcos. Yes, you and are. My mother was his favorite auntie outside of the direct family because my father and mother gave him safety and sanctuary right after the fall of Bataan and Corridor where yes. he was. A fighter. Yes, oh, he was yes. a major. And yes. uh, yeah. there is something there about this being a war hero. Yeah. Although that was obscured or maybe spoiled but by are you all the other things afterwards. Yes. No? But are you surprised that 30 years later, his son almost became vice president? 200,000. Well, he's contesting. <laughs> well, well, anyway. I'm sorry, I ran it. No, Let, no, you no, say anyway, first what she, you were saying. She, uh, you must understand that even with that close relationship and uh, association during the war because she came with us to our uh, uh, barrio sanctuary in Pangasinan because she was wanted by the Japanese yes, yes. so he hid with us for a while we had yes. evacuated also for safety yes. because my father was very much in politics and uh, in the guerrillas yes. now uh, to make a long story short, with that background, why did I go against this guy? Correct. Well, it's because of, again, uh, what is in the Constitution, 1935 during that time, 1987 now. Well, you obey the orders of your superiors, your commanding officer, if they are legal orders. But when he started to stray during the martial law years, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. of uh, what was the term, uh, mining. Yeah. Hey, you're nice. Uh, mine, mine, like, oh, uh, oh, you're all mine, mine, mine. Uh, mining was the term, no? Uh -huh. uh, of course, that went against my basic values. Mm -hmm. And so with so many others. And so. We all agreed. Uh, we just have to stop this, this thing, patay kung patay. Uh -huh. Even at the sacrifice of life, family, future, fortune. Yes. It was not only me that was involved, but uh, my own family, my uh, uh, extended family, they were also at risk. What is the legacy so, of Marcos now, in your mind, with, the back, with history now, looking back? What, what was the, Marcos's legacy? The Marcos years were good until maybe the uh, first two years of martial law. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 uh, I give credit to his uh, wanting to, you know, uh, eliminate or reduce crime at the time, uh, uh, patronage politics or cronyism. But he built his own. And uh, he returned to, uh, you know, he was, he was an, uh, he was an anti-communist fighter. He returned to democracy. No. Uh, unfortunately, it did not turn out that, that way. Uh, and uh, hopefully, his offspring will revert back to his original uh, character. Were you surprised? But uh, Marcos? it's different now. We, we're not, we, I don't think we're going to see another Marcos in our lifetime. But were you surprised by the rise of, of Bong Bong Marcos? <laughs> About were you surprised by how well Bong Bong Marcos did in, uh, in the race for no, the vice he, presidency? In his own way, it's good. Yeah. Huh? Persuasive, convincing. I, I know him, yes. and uh, I'm nothing against him. I'm nothing against the children, but uh, I'm just. I said in public already. I said uh, uh, the former first lady must be the one to speak for the family now because she knows more than any of the children. To include number one. 
where is the rest of the hidden world? Number two, what happened in August 1983? Really, what happened? Yes. Because it was not Galman. And then, uh, uh, come out with your, with your life or family ambition so that you can deal with it uh, nicely and you don't anymore involve innocent people. Uh, who are the innocent people? The helicopter pilots that flew uh, from Ilocos Norte to the Libingan. Mm -hmm. They were just brought into it because they were just junior officers. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then, uh, you must be thankful to me, even if I, I said, no, uh, the agreement was buried in the municipal cemetery, that's the agreement. But at least, I brought him from Honolulu to Bataka. Yeah. Can you imagine your helicopters going to Honolulu and flying all that distance <laughs> to pick him 